Okay, sliding scale. A great Wonder Woman and not. <laughs> From great to not. Um... Hey, hey, friends and revolutionaries. I know I promised a Superman. I had promised a larger scale of the Man of Steel after we did the Injustice Superman. But um, <laughs> two things kind of kept me from going in that direction. And I apologize if you were wanting to see Superman. We are going to get to him. He's not too far down in the series. But, uh, but yeah, it's something where two things. First, well, first off, Wonder Woman, <laughs> which is... If, we, if you haven't read it already, we are taking a look at the variant play art action figures, the play arts Kai action figures, DC Comics variants, figure number two, Wonder Woman. And she's figure number two because figure number one was Batman. And he was a hot item when he came out and a just buku cash to get. So I don't have the, the number one... I don't have number one Batman from the series. I do have Wonder Woman and the other mysterious character there in the shadows. We'll get to him next. If you don't already know who it is, well, I'll give it away. <laughs> or the box does. There is Batman number one, Wonder Woman number two, and Green Lantern number three. So we'll get to Hal Jordan here not too long. But, um, but yeah, I, I kind of figured... I, I I guess I should go in order. As much as I want to get to that Superman, I want to pop that Superman open. I've had him for a while. You know, these are the figures that I was building up to before things kind of went went sprockets up. So uh, so this is a series I've been wanting to get to, and I figure I better do it in order. So that was the first one. Second, this is not <laughs> this is certainly not going to be the highlight of the series. Beautiful box art. This is a great, great uh, portrait of Wonder Woman. Fantastic portrait. I love kind of that smoky style. If you remember the Supergirl review, no, Batgirl, sorry, Batgirl review, you know, I commented that I love kind of the smoky kind of uh, portraits they have, the inky, smoky kind of portrait. You see her hair kind of whips around the side of the box. Really beautiful. I love how it looks. The outside packaging is gorgeous. And again, on the back, there's that picture of the Wonder Woman figure. Painfully, painfully misleading. <laughs> now, and let me, let me not say that. It is appropriate for the color of the box. For, this, for the lighting that they put the figure under in the box, it's appropriate. It just doesn't look that good when you get it into natural light. What do I mean? Well... Brace yourselves. Here we have Wonder Woman in her pack. Which I don't know if the camera is going to catch it as well. But there is some serious sunburn. Some serious redness. Across this figure. It's not fair to judge until we get it open. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say anything 100% yet. But the color on this figure really gives me some concerns. The sculpts, again, we'll, we'll get into it when we actually get her open, but again, definitely have some, some concerns to it. But, sticking with the packaging, because that's what we're looking at, there is that nice kind of W Wonder Woman logo on there. Something you could almost uh, uh, confuse with uh, Jack Specific. WrestleMania figure, who know, or a logo, <laughs> the double, double W's for Wonder Woman. Again, a great portrait of the character. The box art on these play arts figures, I mean, from any series, is fantastic. 
they certainly go all out to do really really nice box art collection of this a, an art collection of this and a book i would pay for i would certainly pay for the write-up from the play art collective of artisans the definitive edition of action figures beauty in a box a dream team of design sculptors and if this is the same thing for all, all of the figures i won't read this every time uh, <laughs> and engineers have poured the hearts and souls i'm so sorry into creating each masterpiece truly making these creations a definitive edition of action figures. A refined interpret, intrepidness radiates from the sharp, edgy designs of these superheroes. The beauty of the sculpt starts with a deep knowledge of maximizing figure ability, figure's ability to pose. Each part of their suit is constructed in great detail. Every piece of material selected to go, selected with great care. These textures are uh, meticulously Recreated to bring out as much three-dimensional realism as possible. A compilation of breathtaking craftsmanship. <laughs> I, I believe it. I believe that they make... Uh, I, they really... I believe it. I, I believe they really work hard to produce a quality product. Because most of the time they do. I just hate the fact that this, so far, is their... This, this is the example of the work. Oh, it's so disappointing. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm getting carried away. I don't, shouldn't judge it just yet. For Wonder Woman, sleek, strong, and stunning, style adorns the sculpt. While keeping true to the image of the comics, the armor is redesigned in a lightweight and stylish form. The bright metallic red color complements the figure's silhouette, showing off Wonder Woman's strength and beauty without any reservations. Without leaving much to the imagination, I'm guessing. Wonder Woman comes with her, uh, with her uh, reliable, indestructible bracelets and lasso of truth. An Amazonian shield, uh, conveying a sense of a seasoned combat, a competitive skill, matched only by her tenderness and compassion. This representation can be appreciated by all. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. For now, let's go ahead, let's pop Wonder Woman out of the box, really take a look and have some fun. Be right back. Alright, so we've got Wonder Woman out of the pack, and just to, to get started, first, you know, we all remember the gag that Wonder Woman is awesome because she fights crime in high heels. <laughs> Female empowerment, she fights in high heels. You know, it, it's it's a goofy gag, and yeah, it was funny when you first heard it. And she does come with, you know, one of the Play Arts uh, uh, display stands that you can put together, which I haven't done with any of these figures yet. But despite the fact that, I mean, they went full-on spiked stiletto heels with her. She is on tiptoe, just a very small surface area, and a spiked heel. And I'll show it to you when you look at the figure. But she still stands on her own. <laughs> it takes a little finesse. And I won't lie, a good, a good stiff sneeze will blow her over. But she does. She does stand on her own. So kudos to, uh, to uh, uh, Squaresoft for being able to put together a figure that, again, does not necessarily have to have the base. But... You know, it's, I'm, sure, I'm sure it helps. I will prob This will be the, probably the first one I'll put together the base for. But, um, yeah, so we've got Wonder Woman open. And first off, <laughs> getting to the sculpt, uh, most of, the one, of this Wonder Woman is a great figure. The sculpt on most of her is fantastic. I am, I, I am pleased with what they were attempting to do. Although I, I have to say it is, and there's those, there are those sculpt heels I was talking about. That is the surface area for her to stand on, and those are the heels. But she did it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can appreciate what they were trying to do. The drawback is, is that the whole top half of the of the figure, this whole top part, is because she has such a teeny tiny head, and that's what I was trying to figure out. Why is this look so... Why does this look wrong? 
and uh, there's a couple of reasons, but mostly because she has such a tiny head. She has huge hair, which just really exaggerates how small the head is. This teeny tiny head, very broad shoulders, which the fact that the butterfly joint here in the shoulder and the peg and the uh, at the arm at the top of the shoulder doesn't go in all the way it it gives her a very broad shouldered look broader than i think that it was supposed to and uh, and other things that are just so large that they're so big it really makes the head seem that much smaller and really, really dis disappointing. I am so disappointed in the way the, the, the way the figure looked because sculpt-wise, I think this could have been a great figure. This could have been the best Wonder Woman figure I own or I think I could recommend had that head been just twice the size. Or, if the ha or even if the hair, I wouldn't even have accepted it if the hair was half the size. It is some big hair, and not in a very well done way. If it's supposed to be windswept, it's still very thick and heavy, and just, it's just uh, uh, terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's just atrocious. I, I, I really don't like the way that head looks. And I really think that, you know what, if they just issued a new head, if they just manufactured a new Wonder Woman head that you could order off their website, I would do it. I would do that because an improved head would really make the overall sculpt of the figure fit better. It would look better sculpt-wise. I mean, the, the, the armor on her chest with a W, the plating... Which, of course, her abdomen is showing, which, you know, <laughs> there again, there's the joke. Higher armor covers less. The less it covers, the better it protects. There's her fanny. And she doesn't really have her bracelets. I mean, they went full-on kind of gauntlets here. That's another thing that it's like, okay, I... It fits with the style that you're going for. But there is no discernible place, really. I guess, no. <laughs> I was going to say, you could kind of think that this part right here might represent the, uh, the, the, her, uh, her bracelets. But then when you take a look at the top, you know, it just comes around to the very wrist. And just kind of fades into all the rest of the part of that of that lower armor, to that forearm armor. So again, very disturbing. Not going to be something that a, a a partial Wonder Woman fan is really going to get too fussy about. If you are a huge Wonder Woman fan, which I'm not, <laughs> probably not going to bother you too much. Uh, but if you are a serious Wonder Woman fan, you're probably going to sit there and think, man, they, they really could have done better figuring a way to make her bracelets more than just standard gauntlets. You know. Um, of course, she's got her bikini, her little bikini bottom, with, I guess those are stars. <laughs> I guess. More just like little silver nubs. So they could have done better actually making stars. The lower legs and the boots... Again, other than that major heel that she's got, I'm okay with the whole legs and boots. For the most part, I'm I'm happy overall with the sculpt of the figure as a part as a partial fan. She does have the armband and the choker, which is very much a new 52 kind of look. You could in some ways even uh, even uh, uh put this as a in-between, a kind of a transitional Wonder Woman between your classic DC style and the new 52 look. I like it. I do like it. I like the colors. I like that dark blue, which you can really see again on her fanny there. <laughs> right there at the bikini. 
the gold, it is not a shiny gold. It is definitely a toned down kind of gold color. And it's consistent throughout. The metallic red has a good black wash over it. So it's not a shiny kind of popping red, but it certainly does stand out. There is one drop of gold splotch that I've got on mine, which I've tried that just doesn't want to come off. <laughs> But, uh, but for the armor, her tiara looks great. The expression on the face could be a little bit better. The eyes are painted well. So on the armor, I think I, I give them high marks on the armor. I think the, I think the bracelet would be the only things that a Wonder Woman fan might grouse a bit about. But again, I'm not a huge Wonder Woman fan, so I'm not going to make a big, big, uh, big, big deal about it. Um, the skin tone. Now this gets back into, and let me reset something real quick. Okay. This gets back to, uh, to something I mentioned when I saw her in the box is she's got this, I, I, I don't want to, I guess it's kind of a wash on the legs. It, it serves to act as a shadow to put, you know, her, her, uh, uh musculature in relief very much like Ch the Chun Li figure, and it looks good applied on the legs. The arms, a little bit more, but not terrible. Her back, not bad. It starts to show up much more. I mean, it's it's very red, and this is where I said before it definitely looks like there's a sunburn going on, because then you look at her chest. Right there at her cleavage, there's just a, it, it just pools in that area and really, really looks bad. And then the worst of it, and for any anybody out there who's in, in charge of paint design, please stop doing shadows around the eyes. Especially on female figures. If you're trying to give a smoky eye look, don't do it. It doesn't work and it looks terrible. You can really see there's that redness around the eyes. Like she's got some kind of allergies or she's got a cold. It doesn't look good. And it really ruins the overall look of the figure. Now, I'm already dissatisfied with the head and the hair as it is. So this is just, again, th the third strike on the, on the sculpt of the figure on the head sculpt. A reissued head fixing these problems... Would, would make her fantastic. But that's probably not going to happen. You just have to accept what we get. Uh, she's got her kind of rubbery belt here that, of course, connects to her classic golden lariat, which, for some reason, figure producers always give us this wound-up lariat and never give us the actual accessory piece to work with. That's one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of Wonder Woman figures because this is her iconic weapon. It's her lariat. And it's, it's there because it has to be. But it's never presented as a true accessory for Diana. And that's, that is disappointing. That is very disappointing on a Wonder Woman figure considering who she is. Uh, the articulation. Uh, the head is on a ball joint. And there is plenty of movement on it. Uh, the shoulders, I'm going to be very dif uh, 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 I'm gonna be very cautious when I talk about this because I had to run her under hot water because the shoulders are very stiff. And this side's a little bit better. But that hinge is very stiff. And I, would, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if over time... The peg inside does break off. This is a figure I can imagine many problems happening for many people. Uh, again, she's got the butterfly hinges in the shoulder. Which I think is, in this case, because of how broad it makes her shoulder look, tends to be a bit of a detriment. I understand it's kind of a standard thing for all the Play Arts figures, but that's certainly detracting. 
uh, the shoulder, the shoulder, the, <laughs> the bicep does have a twist of the shoulder. Hinge at the elbow, twist. Same thing on the hand, hinge. And a twist. And it is clicky. So far, almost all of her joints, you saw the hinges, are clicky. And I like clicky joints. I like clicks. Right below her waist, right here, fairly well hidden, is a twist. Makes up for not having one at the waist. The legs do come up, and there's a good click there. Out, and you can see there's the hinge inside. Knee, and then twist and hinge at the boot. So really great articulation. I would not ask for anything more than that in some cases. Again with the butterfly joint at the shoulders, I would probably have appreciated even a little bit less. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. She will stand. She was standing before. We'll just lean her back there. Okay, so next, her accessories. She comes with, um, I'm going to basically say two sets of accessories. The first one is her extra set of hands, the fists. You can see the back of the hand with the armor pieces. I'm only going to swap out one because we are going to talk about the shoulder. There is her open kind of karate chop hand, handshake hand, which pops right off. And boom, there's her fist, which I, am, I actually liked better. <laughs> I would actually have kept this one on when I first swapped it out, but I am had to make sure to show her out of the box. But the fist looks great. The shield, the shield is interesting. <laughs> the shield is actually kind of interesting. There are two ways you can pose her with her shield. First is actually having her holding it, in which case what you actually have to do is pop off the hand. The shield has three sets of pegs. This one for what well, we'll talk about. This one that goes around her forearm and right here where her hand holding the shield handle goes in. So, set her down for a second. So here's the hand with the handle. And it pegs in like so. So from here, actually let me do it this way. <laughs> so from here, you go ahead and you put her hand on. Make sure you have it all the way in. Put the shield on there like so. And then the, the two tabs inside the shield there. There is this last piece that goes in that keeps the shield from moving around. So it goes around her forearm. This actually is a nice accessory. Again, I like the paint apps on it. I love the strong metallic look with the heavy black wash. It doesn't make it look new and pristine. It definitely looks like it's gone through wear and battle. And it looks really good. First time I did this, I wasn't sure if I, if, you know, I, actually, I, I kind of like her holding it more than I thought I would. When I first put it on, I thought, you know, I'm probably going to leave it off. But the more I look at it, the more I think I may actually keep it this way. Not that you have to, because <laughs> what you can do is you actually pop this part off, and it is, well, actually that was easier, because it's easier with time. Take this, and actually let's put our other fist on. We're swapping out hands. Let's put in our other fist. 
There we go. Yeah, there. That's better. I like that. Okay. The other opportunity, the other way you can pose her or display her uh, with her shield is to pop off her head, which her head is made to come off. So again, issuing a new head, not so hard and would really improve things, but you pop off her head, her choker actually comes off. This one comes off in favor of a second one, which to me is entirely unnecessary. You can see they're exactly the same in the front. The difference being that the one she comes with and the extra one have this extra tab on there. There is no need <laughs> to package two different uh, chokers because of this little tab. This tab does not make or break anything on the figure. You could put this, and I probably will, you could leave this one on there Put this someplace safe and never, never, ever see it, think of it, need it ever again. Hold on to it, but you'll never need it again. The, uh, the reason it does have that peg is because there is that last one where it goes in like so. And she has that Captain America shield on her back moment. And let's get the head pop back on. Ah, let me do it this way. And of course, the shield popped off doing it, but you can see that even if you leave the choker on, You can put that back on there and it makes very little, and the shield itself it has, it does more to, to impede the articulation of the head than the peg does. And as much as I like the way the shield looks on the back, I really like the way that shield looks I'm, I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put it back in her hand. I'm going to put this back in her hand. Because it is a great looking accessory. And I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be posing her facing backwards for any reason. So the shield is just lost on her back for display. Let's put the hands aside. Giving her a, a, an axe, an Amazonian axe, a spear perhaps, or a sword, something to go with her shield. Again, I think would have been nice little extra Ah, there she goes, standing for us. Thank you. Very cool. So uh, so that that would be the only other thing that would have been nice is some type of additional weapon accessories. As it is, she's a fine figure. The head, size of the face, the size of the head, the size of the hair, this whole upper part of her of her design is definitely a mess. But, uh, but if you're not a, a diehard Wonder Woman fan, you may be able to let it slide. Uh, we'll be back with figure three, Green Lantern, <laughs> not too long. But in the meantime, I thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.